and T-55 tanks are a series of Soviet main battle tanks introduced in the years following the Second World War. The first T-54 prototype was completed at Nizhny Tagil by the end of 1945. From the late 1950s, the T-54 eventually became the main battle tank for armored units of the Soviet Army, armies of the Warsaw Pact countries and many others. T-54s and T-55s have been involved in many of the world's armed conflicts since their introduction in the second half of the 20th century. The T-54 and T-55 have a cabin layout shared with many post-World War II tanks with a fighting compartment in the front, engine compartment in the rear and a dome-shaped turret in the center of the hull. The driver's hut is on the front left of the hull roof. In the turret the commander is seated on the left with a gunner to his front and the loader on the right. The tank has a flat track, meaning no support rollers. The suspension has the drive sprocket at the rear and dead track. Engine exhaust is on the left fender. The T-54 and T-55 series is the most produced tank in history. Estimated production numbers from the series range from 96,000 to 100,000. They were replaced by the T-62, T-64, T-72, T-80 and T-90 tanks in the Soviet and Russian armies, but remain in use up to 50 other armies worldwide some having received sophisticated retrofitting. This particular T-55 AM2 main battle tank was manufactured after 1955 as T-55 in the Soviet Union and was upgraded to the T-55 AM2 model in the mid-1980s. It formed part of the Hungarian People's Army. After the Hungarian armored troops were disbanded, it was purchased in Hungary in working condition in 2003 and imported into Switzerland. Nowadays, the tank is on display at the Swiss Military Museum Fulham. T-54 and T-55 tanks are mechanically simple and robust. They are very simple to operate compared to Western tanks and do not require a high level of training or education in the recruitment. The tanks have a good mobility thanks to their relatively light weight, wide tracks, a good cold weather startup system and a snorkel that allows river crossings. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.